You're always a winner with the Toy Tune Podcast. Available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and where other quality podcasts can be heard. Well, here's a neat little game I've added to my collection just recently. I did have one of these, you know, back when it came out in the early 80s. I lost the crazy thing, though. But I was able to get another one. It's Mattel Electronics Armor Attack, part of the Action Arcade series. Now, this was based on the Cinematronics arcade game of the same name, Armor Attack. Basically, in this version here, instead of having a Jeep like you did in the arcade game, you got a little tank that you run around on the screen and try to blow up other tanks, avoid mines, avoid the helicopters, all that good stuff. I absolutely love the arcade game Armor Attack. used to play it quite a bit in the arcade. It's still one of my favorites. I also love it on my Vectrex as well. But this was kind of cool about having something that you can carry with you and play in the palm of your hand. box is pretty nice. It's about credit card size, a little bit bigger. Shows a nice display of the game on here. Shows a helicopter on the screen. How many tanks you got left. Pretty cool. On the back, gives you some nice little details of what you can expect. Computer controlled heli uh, enemy action. Tanks, helicopters, minefields. Sophisticated LCD battlefield graphics. Combat sounds. You can ban three tanks. Two in reserve. Awesome. So let's open the box up here. Slide it open. That's a little protective sleeve inside of here, which is really nice. Laid it off to the side. So right there is the game itself, and here's the manual. And right now the game is in demo mode. You can see it's sitting there playing by itself. That's that's just the demo mode in order to conserve batteries. It does run on two of those little little tiny watch batteries right back here. So let's take a look at the manual real quick. Armor Tech Tank Battle Game. Object of the game is to outshoot, outlast the computer enemy in a fight at, to the finish. You and the computer are rival tank commanders. You must knock out the computer control tanks, avoid hits on your tanks. As battle progresses, you may also have mines and helicopters to deal with. Nine stages of difficulty. Each level of increasing difficulty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's one of those fold out kind of manuals. Shows all the controls, what the landmines, helicopters look like. Here's the level chart. You start at level one, no mines, no helicopters. You have one tank to fight at a time. Then as you get up to the higher levels, like here, level nine, you have three mines, you have helicopters, and you have two tanks to battle at once. I can't even defeat one tank, let alone get to that high of a level. Spains the scoring and the display. Pretty good manual. It's not bad. Gives you some winning tips. Awesome. Pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at the game unit itself. So here we go. We have our fire button, we have our move button, and we have our turret control right and left. So basically you aim the turret, and if you hit move, you're going to move one square to that to that direction. If I hit fire, I'll fire that direction. So you're using your turret to aim and also to aim where your tank's going to go. Being as uncoordinated as I am, that's why I'm having trouble playing this game because I keep hitting the fire button when I hit move or hit move when I hit fire and I aim the tank wrong. <laughs> oh, well. Right here you have your display. You have what level you're on, level zero. And then down below, well, that one's the score. Bottom was the level, I think. I can't remember. It's one or the other. I don't remember. But we gotta give this bad boy a try here, so let's zoom in a little bit closer to the screen. Give this game a run. Okay, here we go. How bad will I play this game? So it should start within one second. Okay, I'm at level one. Oh no, no, no! Oh I died. That wasn't good. As you can see. Move, 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 move. Oh! 
I got him, he got me. <laughs> I got the level two score of six takes. <laughs> Oh, of course, score of six. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time here. There's my three tanks in reserve. Oh! Now, I'm the tank that's one color, and I'm dying very rapidly. Oh, man. Well, I'm dead. Okay, try it again. Come on. Level one. Oh. The computer tank is freaking brutal. Okay, come on. Line up with my tank. I dare you. Oh, move, 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 move. Yes. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Got him. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah, come up to the top. There we go. Fire! <sighs> awesome. Level two. Oh, look, I got mines. Oh, no. Yeah, run into that mine, I dare you. Uh-oh, he's stuck. I got the computer stuck. Oh, darn, I didn't rotate my turret fast enough. Rats! Oh! <laughs> oh, score of six. Awesome. It's a pretty cool game. Did any of you guys have this game growing up? If you did, comment down below. We'll put this thing back in demo mode. Push a little button right there. And it puts it back into demo mode. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. They got another game they also made called Speed Freak that I don't have yet, so I've been on the lookout for it to try to uh, add to my collection as well. But if you like these little handheld games from Mattel, you know, this is kind of cool to add to the collection. Uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty neat to have. Anyway, thanks for watching. Duncan, it isn't yo-yo.